Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> could drink less. Thank you, Coco. That's very helpful. Uh, place looks nice. Yes, because we were both getting up early to clean it today, remember? Oh, I'd have just gotten in the way. You did get in the way. That's why I moved you to your bed. Uh. Evie. Think about the idea of having a dog in the house. I'm sorry. Have I been staring? I'm thinking of getting one. I mean, let's face it. At this point, I'm probably never going to have kids. Oh, Coco, it's not too late. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> a dog sounds fun. Mm, it sounds depressing is what it sounds. Do you have kids? No, but I have a dog. <laughs> well, it's the same thing, you crazy barren old hag. This new roommate will cheer you right up. I just hope she's not too loud. Or happy. Happy people always make such a racket. Coco, she came by and she was a peach. Were you drunk? It was 12 noon. Of course I was drunk. I'm surprised anybody would want to rent that awful bicentennial room. <coughs> what? I rented Varla your room. What? <laughs> so you'll be the one in the room. <laughs> In the bicentennial room. Evie, I have seniority. I bet that's her. All you do is take advantage of me. And I'm not going to take it anymore. Oh, she's a happy man. Hello. <laughs> you must be you who? Coco. Oh, I'm Varla. Hello, Varla. Let me help you with your duffel bag. My things are in the cabriolet. Oh, I'm sorry. That's just your ass. Oh. 